So recently I've gotten around to trying the very popular Holy mod for my keyboard stabilizers. This mod aims to reduce rattling and ticking that you may have in your keyboard stabilizers by using Band-Aid and thus overall improving the sounds. Homogeneo did a great tutorial explaining the process in detail. I will have his video linked down in the description below if you're interested. So in my video, I'm going to showcase two different price range keyboards and how the Holy Mod changes it. First, it will be my KBD67 Lite R2, build price at around $300, and then my Mode 80 build, which now currently is sitting at about $900. I'll have a short summary followed up after each of the keyboards tested, with some final closing thoughts about the mod at the end of the video. Let's dive in. Let's talk about the KBD67 Lite R2 first, going from left to right. Now starting with the left shift key, there wasn't too much rattle as far as I can tell, but there was a bit of ticking prior to the mod. I think the most significant change with the Holy Mod to this particular key was the fact that it solved the ticking issue, but it also made it more muted. That was about it. Spacebar had very noticeable rattle when spamming the key from left to right throughout the entire keycap prior to the Holy Mod. Afterwards, when the rattling issue was solved, the spacebar also retains its high-pitched sound profile but much cleaner. I'll explain this later. Enter key probably had the least amount of change from the Holy Mod as I only heard rattling when spamming the left side of the keycap. Aside from solving that issue, the sound signature retained the same level of pitch and each hit was just more isolated. The backspace has almost an identical effect as the left shift. There's minimal rattle to begin with but then became more muted with the Holy Mod. Okay? Let's move on to the next keyboard, the Mode 80.
Okay, the mode 80 is pretty interesting, and I would attribute that mainly to the how sound resonates with the cap profile keycaps on here. And these keycaps naturally have a thought to it due to its higher profile and having more void space underneath compared to cherry profile keycaps. So I feel that it also amplifies and deepens the pitch. The left shift has noticeable rattle, but to me, at the same time, it's almost not noticeable, only because how much the keycap thocks is just kind of taking attention away from the flaw. But the Holy Mod not only fixes the rattle, it also made it sound more uneven as if it's higher pitched on one side and less on the other. I would say this is because the fabric on the band-aid just needs to be broken in more over time, and it should even out. Additionally, the left shift sounds like you can hear more of my table that the keyboard is sitting on. This is probably the most interesting change of all of the tested keys. Spacebar didn't really have rattle as far as my ears could tell. I think the Crytox 205 alone was enough to fix it on these Duroc V2s, but there was a decent amount of ticking which about 99% was able to be fixed with the Holy Mod. I was still able to hear a bit of ticking, but it's extremely reduced by both frequency and intensity. Remember when I said the spacebar on the KBD67 Lite R2 sounded cleaner and the enter key sounded more isolated? Well, the right shift key on the Mode 80 is a really good example of what cleaner and isolated sound is. So what that means is what the Holy Mod does is when it takes away the rattle, the sound before and after each press on the key starts and drops off cleaner, isolating itself from the sound of the key when it was pressed before and again after. So if I zoom in on my editing timeline here, you can see it in the sound file. There's less marks in between each key press when the Holy Mod takes away the rattle. Enter key has the least amount of change with reduced rattling and somewhat uneven sound when spamming across the key. This I also know will just get better when the band-aid has been worn in more over time. The backspace has some ticking when spamming the right side of the keycap, but was then fixed with the Holy Mod. Other than that, it also became slightly muted just a tad bit. And that's all for my experiment on the Holy Mod. I hope you guys can take my feedback here and try it on your own boards and see how it can be improved. Let me know down in the comments if this video was informative at all. Thumbs and subs if you want to see more keyboard content from me. I really appreciate your time tuning in if you made it all the way to the end. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.